what is up everybody in today's video i'm going to be covering the topic that everyone was anticipating for a year straight or at least anyone that knows my channel or has been following it for a while and that is the topic of rip tweaks v4 now for those who don't know i've been running a pc tweaking software company for about three years now and the longest it ever took me to push out an update was a year and that was the transition from this that you're seeing right now to a much better and improved program. But first, let me show you the first initial version of the program that we had about a year ago and something that you could buy even two weeks ago up until now. Rip Tweaks V3, basically the third release of my software, which on the first glance looks really normal and it looks okay for a tweaking software, but it kinda is not compared to what we actually have right now. And going off of the first screen, there's a home screen, whatever, it's normal as any other tweaking software. We have some specs which are insanely accurate, you know, 34 gigs of RAM, <laughs> no CPU temperature, whatsoever we have the performance section we have hardware which is normal and you could find it in any pc tweaking software windows cleanup tweaks you know power tweaks uh, whatever okay it's, it's the normal usual thing that you could find in any software whatsoever we have some games that you could optimize valorant fortnite minecraft with no lag in between <laughs> at all and then we have internet you could optimize your internet whatever input lag help center overclocking utility which is basically just a guide on what to actually do some crosshairs and that is literally about it right but it's not really a gamers application it's just a tweaking software with a bunch of additional settings that you could add and nothing really special right and that is the thing that always made me mad because i never wanted to be one of the generic pc tweaking services that had like a usual menu application whatever just a different color text i wanted to be something more you know we wanted to actually make a good app for gamers casual pc users for anybody that is looking for an all-in-one solution and after a year of development after a year of working hard trying many different solutions we finally have rip tweaks v4 i'll show you what the v3 looked like and i don't want to show you the boring stuff i'm gonna go straight into the interesting things as you can see mostly the home page is the same you know it's literally the same text and everything because there isn't anything more i could say other than thank you but going off of the first page which is the hardware section we could see a massive improvement over the last version as you can see here we have an actual graphics ui which actually shows your cpu gpu ram usage you could see the temperatures for all of them you could see it all accurately by every second but one of the most interesting things is the expert mode that we actually have for all of you tech nerds out there basically extremely detailed information about anything you might be looking for in your pc such as your cpu cores bus speed fabric memory about your power about your voltage temperature literally everything for every component same for the gpu you can see the power small data temperature you can go for the ram and see how much memory is used available load storage this is really crazy because it always updates per second basically every time there is a change you could see it on the screen like right here as you can see it's changing up and down and also for the displays you can see all your displays for example how much hertz it has resolution and much much more we have some networks bluetooth all of the devices that are connected you could easily see them without having to use any third-party application whatsoever going on to the next features is the optimization and i don't want to be wasting your time showing you the generic settings because every app has them for example cpu gpu ram and BIOS SSD hard drive, this is what you usually have in every app. And of course, I've tried to make it a bit more beautiful, you know, adding a custom RAM module, which you could like increase or decrease how much RAM you want to put in your system for the tweaks. I've added some cool quirks, as you can see here, for example, some recommended BIOS settings and whatever, but that is really about it. Or is it? Well, look at the Windows section, where we've added a new, brand new and improved cleanup section, which actually cleans up a shit ton of files cache and a lot of the useless things that you really don't need on your pc as you can see right now just from the temporary files and everything like shader cache update leftovers we're looking at around 50 gigabytes of storage that could be freed onto my pc there's a brand new the bloat section which basically shows you if a tweak is safe or if it's dangerous to do you can see all the explanations you can add a few of them and the bloat all of them at once you can search up the tweaks that you want maybe filter them and it's really cool having a list of tweaks that 
that will actually help you understand what you're doing to your PC. Not only that, but you can also revert all of them, which is pretty neat as well. We have a brand new Windows module, which actually has like a lot of the features that you could with literally one click turn on or off, startup apps, process priority, you can disable background apps. We have like one utility where you could click everything that you want to access, troubleshooter, event viewer, the networks that you want to have. For example, as you can see, device manager, maybe if I click it, it opens device manager, etc. So it's a really good launch pad for your PC. And the most incredible thing that we actually have is the apps module. Now, probably after installing your Windows, you've had the biggest trouble out of all, which is finding what apps to actually install. And you're making a list. You're thinking, oh, I'm going to install this, that, whatever. Well, with RIP Tweaks, you can install any app that you usually use, Discord, Teams, Telegram, WhatsApp, all of your gamer apps, Epic Games Launcher, EA app, literally any GPU app, any overclocking app, a long extensive list of the apps that you usually will use on your PC. So just with one click, you could just click install and it's actually going to download the file. And literally that is it. Now, of course, it wouldn't be that impressive if it was just an app installer. But what we have is the newest update feature for all of your apps. We're scanning for all of the available updates that your apps might have and basically giving you a list of what you could actually update. As you can see here, we have 25 updates and we can update 25 different apps, literally Epic Games Launcher, Java, Microsoft, Mozilla Firefox, OBS. But if I just click on update all, it is literally going to update with one click. Not only that, but we have an uninstaller, which is basically showing how big of apps you actually have in your system. As you can see, for example, for Mora, it has 500 megabytes. And if I want to uninstall this, it will literally uninstall the app and save me 500 megabytes of storage. Of course, I can search up any app here, for example, Rip Tweaks. And as you can see here, I just can click on install and uninstall Riptix V3. You can also see a list and filter literally applications that are for gaming, for example. And you can see here we have like Discord, Slack, Microsoft Teams, Telegram, WhatsApp, Zoom, AMD software. You can literally click and understand what all of this is if you don't have a fucking clue. Now going on to the next features, basically we've tried to make it as simple as possible, not overloading you with any confusing tweaks and any and any confusing buttons whatsoever. We have performance, network, input lag, and overclocking. And that is basically all we have. We have an optimization button, per peripherals, if you want to optimize all of these things. Network, we only have two buttons because we don't want to be giving you 50 trillion options to pick from like other tweakers do. And basically overload you with some tech bullshit that you might not even understand. So we've just batched up all of the best tweaks that we think are the best for your PC and put them all into an app. Overclocking is mostly the same because it has the same guys that we talked about, which according to me is more than enough for beginners or even advanced users. Now, one of the biggest things that we've been working for over a year is the brand new community tab. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the most revolutionary thing in any gaming app ever. So as you can see here, we have five different sections from which you could pick from. Number one is the My Points. And I'm going to explain this to you really quickly so I don't take all of your time. Basically, if you interact with our videos on social media, for example, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, whatever, every like, comment, view, subscribe, even if you're watching a premiere while our videos are premiering on the YouTube channel, you're going to get a set amount of points. Screenshot, send it to our Discord server. One of our staff will verify it and put the points to your account. You're probably wondering what are points used for, right? Well, points are literally a currency that you could buy any gaming currency or any anything associated with gamers at all time. Basically, you have Steam Wallet money, five bucks, 10 bucks. You have Discord Nitro Basic and the good one, you know, the casual Nitro, the normal one. You have a 10 bucks. Roblox gift card, you have a 10 bucks Fortnite gift card, you have a lot of rewards that you could actually use the points that you're getting from literally subscribing, liking, and supporting our channel and our videos. Eventually, over time, you could earn these points and you could buy yourself anything, for example, the Steam wallet, balance of five bucks, or maybe even some V-Bucks or Nitro or whatever you want. Of course, there's some other things, for example, overlays. If you want to go that way, you could just buy this blue overlay. You can buy some backgrounds, for example, these ugly clouds, but 
like anyways you can do whatever you want with them but the main point is the actual currency that you could use for gaming and if you're really young and you really don't have any actual money just by supporting our videos you could have literally like five bucks of steam cash for just supporting our videos in under a month now going on to the second thing we have the leaderboards now this is a pretty interesting section because we have actual leaderboards for our users basically it's divided by pc and network now whoever has of course this guy has a fucking gigabit connection well whoever has the greatest internet or pc and whoever has the worst internet or pc they are getting a set amount of score and they're on the list as you can see here now this list resets every 30 days and whoever has the best internet or pc whoever has the worst internet or pc and whoever has like the most average number out of all gets a set amount of points every month now you can also qualify by just going to the my rankings and you can just run a pc benchmark and you get a set amount of score if you change for example your cpu gpu you can rerun the benchmark and be a bit higher on the list not only can you compare your pcs to everyone else but you can actually see how good of a pc you have now going on to the next thing which is the looking for section now if you don't have anyone to actually play with if you don't have any friends if you don't have any gamer friends or you don't know who to play with a new game for example or you're just looking to meet new people you can create a looking for listing basically you could search up any game for example fortnite you need like three players and you're gonna type in for example i want to play squads i need three people dm me for more info and i'm gonna show you what this dm me means really quick basically if you want to find anyone that you want to play with what you could do is add a listing where you could literally make a post and contact people or have people contact you if someone wants to play with you so basically you can meet new people using rip tweaks v4 just by dragging the mouse to this corner right here you're opening the new sidebar which has a ton of features that nobody else actually has as you can see here we have active chat we have chat requests we have a bunch of things we have a looking for we have a friends list i'm going to show you literally everything that we have right now so as you can see here we have some active chats and that's what i literally talked about you can just find someone to play with you could chat to them and you could literally say hi you can spam them you know let's spam this guy you know i mean obviously there's cooldown after a while but you could literally message anyone you can tell them like what's your discord you just ask them you're gonna reply and now you have a new friend and basically if you found one what you could do is just edit this post say that you've gathered one person and maybe like two other people are gonna see oh this guy is looking for two people not one so maybe they're gonna get their friend they're gonna communicate you're gonna get a whole squad and you might have new friends in your life after you're done you can just delete this listing and that is literally about it you can find new friends by just typing in any letter for example a and i can find a lot of people that i could just talk to if i want it just add them as a friend you know type in like let's say hi and eventually they're gonna get a chat request and you're gonna be able to communicate with each other but that's not all you know we've been working for much more than having a community and an application for people to meet we have the biggest thing that literally nobody else has which is the features tab now here you can see drivers fps counter crosshairs os reinstall in rip mode and i'm gonna be showing you literally every one of them right now so we have a fps counter which is literally the most advanced thing ever you can see your fps in the top left corner top right corner you can see it in your bottom right corner bottom left you know like you already understand it and that is literally about it right well no you can see much more things with this app for free again i'm saying you don't have to download any other app you just have to get rip tweaks and that is it you can see your fps minimum maximum average one percent low zero point one percent low frame time and like this like just bam you could see all of those specs and data on your screen in any moment while you're playing any game now of course there's a custom section and do you remember the things that i was showing you in the specs previously well as you can see we have the cpu temperature load voltage clock speed literally everything out of all of the things that we've listed you have them and you could put it onto your fps counter and you could literally analyze and see all of that data in real time you can make the counter a bit larger you can have a medium outline size let's say and when i click on launch you could see all of the the important specs or info that you were looking for in your top left corner while you're playing any game at all as you can see here we have gpu fan power memory use and like this is normal like you can use everything as normal you could have your game it isn't going to interfere with anything no anti-cheat no nothing and it's literally insanely accurate as it updates every single second 
Now the next thing that we have is crosshairs. And yes, you could use that on top as well. As you can see here, it doesn't interfere with anything. So you have custom crosshairs, right? So you're going to think like, hey, we have crosshairs. So what's so special? Well, you see, not only do we have a list of pre-made crosshairs, we can make custom ones as well. As you can see, we can type in any main, for example, idiot, one, two, three, four, five. And for example, we can make it blue, make it really long and make it a bit shorter. And now if you click create, you could see that we've made a new crosshair called idiot now we can also change all of these settings for example center dot outline you can set it to any shape for example an x save it and you can literally play with these things for the longest time ever next what you could do is add a custom image for example this i'm gonna upload this rip tweaks wallpaper which are gonna be coming soon and as you can see i can make it a bit wider a slightly bit not that tall you know make it less transparent save it and bam it shows up on the screen i can make it a bit cursed you know for example lower the height make it a bit more wider save it and when we relaunch it looks like the absolute fucking horror it is going on to the next features we have os reinstall now this is probably the most important out of all for all of you that are resetting your pc constantly and doing a lot of bullshit literally all you have to do is plug a usb in select it configure these features which you might need to select anything if you want you have specific things partition format whatever pick your os windows 10 or windows 11 and just click create and like that you have a brand new windows install on your usb isn't that fucking ridiculous you know you just click it go and take a fucking walk you come back and you have a ready to use windows install on your usb of course there's also on-screen instructions after all which you can scan with a qr code and everything and follow them from your phone just so you know what you actually do after having the usb and the last we have is rip mode for example if we go to the task manager go into performance as you can see here we have like 6.8 gigabytes of ram if i click on clear cache ram and i click launched look at this memory decrease from six to three gigabytes of ram isn't that fucking ridiculous so if you need anything literally anything at all times you could quickly go into the rip mode disable all of these useless background apps animations you can stop explore clear cache ram and that is literally about it now of course we've added some improved features for the ui ux whatever we've added a settings mode where you could basically go and find some tutorials for example how to apply a tweak and you just go in here next 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 whatever you can see how to create a backup so you're going here going to the backups create new backup it's going to load everything you can create type in whatever next next finish that is really about it we have a backup section you have support section where you can basically just click this it will lead you to our discord but literally that is about it see you in the next video